Normally, we associate the word W-H-E-R-E -E, where with places. But with certain special places, we can associate the word W-E-A-R where. Kashmir for one, or Kashmir to be precise. That's an old spelling of the word Kashmir. Kashmir goats produce wool that's three times warmer than sheep's wool. Keeps you warm and toasty. Jodhpur is another place you can wear, in the plural though, Jodhpurs. And of course, mispronounce the way only the British can. You wear Jodhpurs to ride horses. When the British started playing polo in India, they adapted the churidar worn by the royals of Jodhpur. Calico is an alternate form of Calicut, which is an alternate form of the place name that's spelled K-O-Z-H-I-K-O-D-E and it's pronounced, well I can't pronounce it, so I got a friend to say it for me. Kori Kor. Yeah, that. Kori Kor. Yes, thanks. Calico, the coarse white cloth that European traders would buy from there, took its name from this city. Kori Kor. Enough. Okay. Dockside workers of Dongri, a part of Bombay, used to wear trousers made out of a tough blue-coloured cotton fabric. The cloth, called Dangri locally, got exported to England to make cheap, tough working clothes. It also reached America where it was used to make utility uniforms for the US Navy. Somewhere along the way, these outfits acquired a front panel and shoulder straps and started being called dungarees. Indigo is a plant that was grown in India from ancient times. It produced a natural dye that was in demand as far away as Europe. The word indigo derives from the Greek word indikon, which means Indian. As the Greeks referred to the stuff as Indian dye. So when you wear something that's dyed indigo, you're not wearing a particular place in India, but in a sense, the country as a whole. The next time you're dressing, instead of asking yourself what you're going to wear, you might just ask yourself where you're going to wear. I'm the English Nut and it's bye for now.